is this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now it's came to that time of the week again where I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. Well, hey. <laughs> now, I generally don't start a video like this, but most of the products that I review are available for free. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Go and check them out. Now, I have a lot to get through this week, so let's quickly kick this off from Max Edge. Cool name, by the way. Blender 3.1 Proximity Based Lightning. A geometry node setup that creates lightning between objects based on distance. Yeah, it looks not too bad. Now, you're going to start to see a little trend here, and I do apologise for it, but hey, guess what? More geometry nodes. <laughs> It's just going to be like this forever, I believe. But Geometry Nodes is so damn powerful. Why would you model a single asset when you can build out Geonodes? But anyway, next one up is the Blender Geometry Nodes Bridge Prototype. Kind of lets you build a bridge using Geonodes. Cheers much. And moving over to Ask NK, this is a modified version of the Edge Damage Tool from Chris. Now, there is a video that complements this, and it pretty much is exactly what you see. It damages the edges. Nice one. Thanks very much. And surprise, surprise, even more geometry nodes, but this one's pretty damn epic, if I do say so myself. And it's the Geometry Nodes Pipes version 1.1. Now, obviously, I've covered something like this before. This seems to be an updated version as well. There is a few different options out there when it comes to pipes. It seems to be a common thing, but hey, generate some pipes using geo nodes. a nice one. Just to kind of change the pace a little bit and kind of break you up from geometry nodes, we have the Pixel Art Shader. This is from Daniel Grove, who doesn't love a good pattern? Yeah mate, I'm happy with that as well, these renders look pretty dope as well. And moving it back over to Geometry Nodes, this is from Lorenzo, Neon Sign Generator for Blender 3.0. Now there is a few different Neon Generators out there if you want to have a check at the recommendations. I have reviewed quite a few to be honest, but this one looks like it pretty much, it pretty much does everything. And it is available for free, thank you very much Lorenzo, much appreciated. Next one up is from Chip Walters, a free version of the Simple Sci-Fi Displacement and Geometry Generator. <laughs> this one looks actually pretty decent to be honest. Simple Sci-Fi is a symmetrized approach for creating full 32 displacement maps. Hmm, I'll need to check that bad boy out, it looks pretty good as well. Now there is a pro version of this, if you want to check that out as well, just go to Chip Walters' profile. Does a lot of Great downloads to be honest. So so the next one up is Cavity Pass Free Blender add-on. This is from Amit Deep. Now he generally releases a script every two weeks. Depends. But he generally does release a free script. And he also has several commercial products. But Cavity Pass is a free blender add-on that allows you to render and composite a cavity pass in your render to add fake bevel and light effects. Hmm, not bad, not bad. And moving over to Southern Shorty, free GeoNodes project starter file. Enjoy following along with the tutorial, so obviously Southern Shorty does amazing tutorials, this is the scene file for it. Check them out and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So the next one up is from Michael and it's the Synchronize Workspaces Blender add-on. Now I'm going to read this in a little bit of a dramatic fashion here. Imagine how much time you waste just on viewport positions every time. <laughs> then switching to a different workspace, yeah. It essentially synchronizes workspaces. It actually looks pretty good to be honest. And I can understand why the developer wrote this because jumping workspaces can be a little bit of a nightmare. And I was reading the forum and the developer does seem a little bit active. So yeah, definitely worth probably grabbing to be honest. So the next one up looks pretty damn epic as well and it's called Dynamic Grooming. And there is a whole blender thread that obviously stems from a conversation. And some of these renders look pretty good. I think what it does is once you've simulated the hair, it kind of helps you dynamically groom. It looks not bad, it looks not bad at all. So let's move this up a gear. Hey! Thank you very much. Here all day. Cheers. Is the Philip Gear Generator. My love of gears and all things mechanical have led me to create my own custom gear generator. Fair play, mate. Fair play. Thank you for sharing it with us as well. And moving over to Ryan King Art, who has actually taken me over in subscribers. You just need to hit that button a bit more often here, by the way. Free download of my green screen blend file startup. The composite and nodes are already set up for doing green screen. A uh, nice one. Cheers. Saves you getting into After Effects, I would imagine. So let's move over to my commercial add-on of the week. I actually have two recommendations for you guys. The first one up is the Sanctus Library Procedural Shader add-on for Blender. I did download this last night. I'm going to give it a quick review in the next couple of days. It's a whole bunch of really nice materials for 19 bucks. 
What else could you ask for? It looks not bad at all. So keeping on the commercial side, the developer reached out over on Facebook and says, look, I've made a new add-on. Do you mind recommending it? So here it is. It's called Manage Blender Projects. Now, it has two versions. It has a full version and it has a light version. Eight bucks is the cheapest one. But it lets you do things like save load add-on settings to disk, add folder when adding a new project. It looks not too bad. So let's move it over to Sketchfab Download of the Week. I need to go into Fiverr and pay somebody to make me music. <laughs> but this is the fast vehicle download. Check this bad boy out. It looks pretty damn good. But I also like the Nissan Fairlady. That looks pretty cool. You could get some really nice renders with that one. And of course, we always finish up with a free HDRI and a free PBR material. So the HDRI from Polyhaven is this bad boy. It's a quarry. We always need HDRI images. I mean, they're always good. They come in handy for something. And the free PBR material is the weathered brown planks. And that has been it. It's been a lot of stuff to get through, to be honest. Do me a favour, guys. Please support third-party developers and artists. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out big time. Leave a comment. That actually helps me out a lot more. If you see something that you want recommended, stick it down below. Anyway, do me a favour, guys. Take care.